Hello there guys, what's going on? Ian here with another video featuring Pokemon Go and the Alolan region generation 7 has just dropped in Pokemon Go and we've got a couple of the new Pokemon here. We've got the Rowlet, this one 469 CP, of course one of the starters of gen 7. And we'll see if we can't get a couple of these today. I think there's about five or six new Pokemon dropped uh, across the board. And this one is not one in stain to the ball. Let's try that again. And nice throw, sir. So. Okay. First new Gen 7 Pokemon obtained already. And we've got a collection challenge. And there's so something so nice about seeing a new Pokemon hit the Pokedex. New generation hit the Pokedex at Rollet is one star, it's trash. And we've also got another one of the new Pokemon here, the Picky Peck. Um, hoping this one isn't as spammy as uh, Pidgey was for generation one. But if it is, hey, we can build up the candies nice and early. So that's two of the, the new generation Pokemon already in the decks. A cute animation for this bad boy hitting the Pokedex. There we go, Picky Peck. And are we going to stick with? Yes, we are. We're going to stick with that. It is trash. Any more new Pokemon? Nothing there. But it's so nice to see silhouettes again. Silhouettes. We love the silhouettes. And there's there's a few to go out there. So we will try and find those today. And of course, hopefully, some raids are going to pop. It's cold. My eyes are watering. There we go. Poplio. Another one of the new starters. And you know what could get all these in one take? That's very laggy. There we go. And absolutely trash throw. My eyes are watering. It's cold. It's windy. Do not run. We want to get you in our Pokedex. And, oh, I thought that was going to be the excellent throw. So close to the excellent throw. So, it's March. March brings a new generation in Pokemon Go, the season of Alola. And the news hit very late. The news hit yesterday. And it's uh, just after 10 o'clock here. And we are out. And that was even worse to try and find as many of these new gen Pokemon as we can. Nothing on the Zangoose. Of course, we've already seen the Rollet, the Poplio. There's still the Litten of the starters, which we need to find. We found the Picky Peg. And there's also the Young Goose, which straight off the bat is available in its shiny form. So hopefully we're going to find those. And in the raids, one star raids, we've got Rockruff, which again is available in its shiny form. Lovely blue Pokemon. And in terms of the legendary raids, I'm checking my phone, Tapu Koko is available. That one won't be available in its shiny, but we will try and get those in today's video. So we'll just take a little pause here. Professor Willow has got more challenges for us. We're not going to read what he's going to say. We never do, because nobody cares. A Melamele adventure, is that how you say it? I don't know. I really don't know. Catch 10 Pokemon gives us an encounter. Send three gifts and add a sticker to each, which gives us 10 Pokeballs. And catch five normal type Pokemon for an encounter which results in 10 pineapple berries, 500 XP and 500 Stardust for four stage special research. Anything on the Today tab? There is a collection challenge, which we've already got three of. We need two more and we have to do an evolution of some sort there for that one. So we've got our first youngest here, first shiny check. That one is not shiny. 224 weather boosted CP let us catch this bad boy and then we'll try and find some more of these so close to the excellent throw but it wasn't but this is the is the fourth the fourth one we've got from these new released Pokemon which we like which we like we're filling up the new Alola decks there we go young goose is in the Pokedex, it's trash. Okay, so we've got one more there, which is a Litten, which is a short walk away, but not too far. We'll go and find the Litten now. Now, our Litten should be somewhere around here. Hopefully, it'll spawn in a second. There we go. Litten. Looks quite cool, actually. Strange looking. Now, let's go, let's go Ultra, because we're gonna go Pineapple. Try that. There we go. That's what we're talking about. 
we like the excellent throws. So what's going to get us to level 50? Well, we'll get there eventually anyway, but it's going to get us there a lot quicker. Oh, it broke out, right. Okay. We'll try the plan out one more time. And then we'll get something a bit more serious. The second excellent throw on this little pussy Pokemon. And that's done it this time. So we've finally got all of the starters already. And another added to Pokedex. But I think just down here we have another Young Goose. And of course, we need to shiny check it. It would be nice, it would be amazing if we could get one straight off the bat. You won a medal! Register 5. Pokemon first discovered in the Alola region to Pokedex. So, I'm not suggesting I was the first one out of the Insects podcast boys to do that, but uh, you know, I'll probably be second. Another Rowlet. Still no excellent throw. Need to figure that one out. It shouldn't be this difficult. It's not rocket science. And it's jumped out again. It is being a pain in the ass. Okay, right, we're going to go Silver Pineapple this time because. You know, it's probably the weakest zero-star Pokemon in the world. Right. And that did it. We managed to get it this time. Bloody hell, it should not take that long to catch one of these starters. But uh, we did. And what a surprise, it's zero-star and it's diabolically bad. Young Goose, still not shiny. So, my arm's aching. Don't know why. Don't know if it's just that I overdid on Saturday or that I'm just the wuss. But... <laughs> Nevertheless, we've got the first stage of this special research done. So the first encounter, we're going to get a Alolan Rotata. It's the Alolan region, so all the rewards are going to be uh, Alolan variants. And I'm guessing ones that are already in game, but we'll, we'll, we'll persevere. Let's see what the second one for the first stage is. It's, oh, it's a Young Goose. It's not a shiny one, but it is a Young Goose. This one could actually be better. This one could be worth evolving. Let's just check this bad boy. Is it any good? It's three star, it's not great, but it's the best one we've got so far. Tepig, we're not too worried about that. Ten Pokeballs, and let's claim our rewards for this first stage. And move on to stage number two, which is take a snapshot of a wild Pokemon, use seven berries to catch Pokemon and catch ten Pokemon. So, stage two took very little time at all, so we'll claim our rewards and see what the encounter is. Picky Peck. So I said this is the Saturday at the Johto Tour. I can throw a lot better one. I'm not holding a camera in my hand and having to do it one-handed, but never mind. It was caught. We knew it would be. Oh, okay. We'll take that. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's not too shabby. So let's claim our rewards. Charge TM. We don't care. Okay, so catch six normal type Pokemon, catch three different species of normal type Pokemon and spin five Pokestops. Three encounters, also a premium battle pass, 1000 XP and 1000 Stardust. So, well there's one spin. Wild Gyarados, we'll just check that one, see if that's and, uh, not shiny, but nonetheless, not one that you see too often in the wild. We'll catch that bad boy, excellent throw, that's what we like. That is what we like. That's what we need, actually. It's more, more, the, more the case in point. That's what we need. We need the XP. So, caught it. Is it going to be good? Chances are it's going to be absolutely horrendous. And, yeah, it is. It's horrendous. We're sitting down again. We've got three possible shiny checks on Yungus. Check number two. Now, the top of this video, I was actually just going to go around in a t-shirt since it's the Alola region. Sort of rip on Hawaii, nice weather and all that. But it's bloody cold, it's windy, and it is not pleasant. So, yeah, I uh, completely wussed out of doing that, but with good reason. But let's just check the buizel. It's not Alola, and it's not shiny. Pogo Milo UK is inviting me to. Come on, let's do it. We need to get it in the decks. We need to get this one. And Rockruff can be shiny, so let's do this one, Milo. I'll read this one with you. The screen recorder's going, so, and uh, it's not going to take long, is it? Let's face it, it's a one-star raid. I'm just going in with the recommended. It really doesn't matter. We are not going to need to worry about setting teams up for this Pokemon. But it would be nice to get that blue shiny on the first raid. It never happens to me. You guys know what my shiny look is like with raids. But you know what? There's always a first time, and there is always... The chance that the gods are smiling on us. In fact, it's actually really nice and blue sky today, but as I said earlier, bitterly, bitterly cold. Very cold. But a lowland drop completely surprised me. 
really surprised me wasn't expecting that to happen just yet we've got on the top scoreboard table and let's check is this one going to be shiny no blue eyes not blue doggy so yeah let's uh just catch this one and see what we can't get first ball catch it's not going to be a tricky one to catch it <laughs> let's face it rock wolf was caught new pokedex entry that's the last one for the the newly released pokemon and oh there's a couple of evolutions there so daytime and nighttime for different and it's a dirty two star dirty dirty two star so we need to raid a couple more so stage three is completed we have three encounters Yungus is number one number two is another Yungus, and the last one is a ratike okay claim our reward and the final stage of this special research send five gifts to friends catch 15 pokemon and win a raid so we need to go and do that tapu koto raid now so another rock rough is down not even going to start the screen recorder because i don't anticipate that i'll have to get the the shiny but let's have a look so here goes as long as we can get numbers first tapu koto raid the first gen 7 legendary pokemon in the game so in true counter brothers fashion if you don't know what i'm talking about check out inserts a pokemon go podcast we'll go through the top counter that you can use for tapu koto it is an electric and fairy type pokemon so the strongest counters for this bad boy are going to be the ground type so therian form landorus is going to be the best one that you can pick with mudshot on earthquake but also things like excadrill garchomp rhyperia groudon there are a lot of good pokemon to use against this bad boy so let's see if we can't get a few people interested in a little bit of a raid the new load screen actually quite nice i like this new load screen it is definitely definitely captures the the essence the, the sort of feeling of that sort of hawaiian region for for alola for alola so right let's try again okay so it's a tough little bugger but it's pretty much down it's almost down and there it goes there it goes there it goes so Garchomp army probably is a winner if you've got a few I'm sure you have after Gibble community day last year but here we go so you win don't care about all the rewards don't care about the XP on this situation what we do care about is getting a pokedex entry and I believe this one can be a little bit tough to catch in three two one 1746 is nowhere near it really is nowhere near but you know what we'll catch it we'll get it in the decks let's see if we can't figure out this range there we go we got it but is it enough to keep it in the ball one two no stop veering back to the middle thank you there we go excellent throw Bit too early to say I've nailed it, but that's two in a row, and that's twice it's jumped out in a row. This time, excellent throw. Stay in. Okay, this time, stay in the goddamn ball. One, two, stay in the ball. This thing is an SOB to catch. It really is. It's breaking out of everything I'm throwing at it. And that was just. But it caught it. The bad throws sometimes catch the Pokemon. It's awful. Excellent throw after excellent throw, and then a completely awful throw catches a Pokemon. But we're adding Tapu Koto to the Alolan decks. There we go. Taking pride of place as the first legendary of this generation. And it couldn't be much deader. 11, 11, 11. Oh my god. Couldn't get an awful lot worse. So Gen 7 is finally with us. The Alola region is actually in game properly now yes i know we've had some alolan variants of already existing pokemon but we've actually got 
Gen 7 in game now, which is really exciting. And so far, after one day, I am really enjoying the season of Alola. With these new Pokemon, we've managed to mop up all of the base evolutions for everything that we needed today. And I'm not just going to evolve anything that I've got for the video. So as soon as I find some good ones, we will do evolutions of these Pokemon. But in other good news, the Pokemon company have announced that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be coming this fall. So yes, this autumn, we have Generation 9 coming to the game, which gives Pokemon Go at least another sort of two to three years worth of longevity as a minimum, possibly even longer because who knows, we might even have Gen 10 by the time we catch up with Generation 9. You never know. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the release of Generation 7. Was it timed correctly? Do you think it should have been released earlier? Or do you think it's actually come a little bit too soon? Controversial, but I know. It's something that worth talking about. We're not going to dive into the full season of Alola in this video because I want to keep this video just focused purely on the actual launch of the new Pokemon. But we will talk about the season of Alola in an upcoming video. Thank you very much for watching. Please push the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you are either new to the channel or haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help. And that way, I can see you really soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Waterfall out.